Gareth McLaren. I'm the European artist in residence for the William S. Haynes Company. Uh, what brought me to Haynes was the flutes. Uh, the first one I tried that got my interest was in 2011. And the one that got me hooked was the flute of Jürgen Franz, uh, which I tried in 2012. And this just made me want one. I just had to have one. And so I wrote to Haynes and said, not only do I want one of your flutes, please, um, but I also want to work with you as well. And so here I am seven years later, um, living in the capital of Europe, in Strasbourg, in Eastern France. Um, and I wanted, last year, I approached my super talented colleagues and friends in the Boston workshop, and I wanted to make a celebration of Ireland. Um, I had lived in London for 20 years, and the longer I lived in London, the more Irish I felt. And then, as I began to travel more and more around the world, the more European I felt, which is why I ended up here in this European capital. Uh, and so I wanted to make a celebration of Ireland, a flute that celebrated my Irishness and my Irish passport that allowed me to live here. Um, and so that's, that was the idea for this, this flute that I have had now for the last few months and I've been getting to know and enjoying hugely. And before we even get to the instrument, um, the talented guys at Wiseman Cases, um, they made me a Haynes Wiseman carbon fibre case, Irish themed also. Um, we've got uh, a very subtle green weave into, into, the, into the carbon fibre um, and also green stitching um, on, the, on the leather. And also naturally, of course, we have a green interior. So it's, um, it's Irish before you even open the box. But I was talking to both my colleagues in the shop and also to the wonderfully talented engraver, Wailing Zoo. Um, Wailing uh, created a very beautiful Celtic knotwork style lip plate engraving, which I really quite liked. And so I showed this to um, the head of body making and stringing, David Chipani, um, who is supremely talented. Um, he saw that and thought, okay, he'll have a think about that. So working from the bottom up, I guess, what these amazingly talented people did was incorporate Celtic knotwork over this whole beautiful instrument. So I'll, I'll go from, from the bottom to the top, I guess. Um, every ring has got this gorgeous uh, knot work design, this twisting knot along every single ring on the flute. Um, and every key has got this stunning intertwined and also stippled um, design of Celtic knot work. All this stuff to the naked eye is a real stunning thing to behold. Um, but whenever you put this under a macro lens, it's something that is sort of, it's sort of beyond belief. The skill, the delicacy, the sophistication, the intricacy of the work is just astonishing. Um, and so we come to quite a special little bit, which is the C-sharp brace. Ordinarily, the C-sharp brace on um, most custom flutes looks something like this. But as you can see on this particular instrument, we've got this elegant, delicate bit of filigreed gold wire, beautifully and agonizingly handcrafted by David Chipani. And so Wei Ling, the engraver, he saw that, and then he decided to put this particular design all over the flute as well. So in addition to having each of the, the round keys with this interweaving design, we've also got this triangular Celtic knotwork design on the B flat shake, on the C sharp trill lever, on the G sharp key, and even placed so just perfectly on the top of the B flat thumb lever here. Um, moving up towards the barrel, uh, where the serial number is, this is number uh, 54322. Um, but something that's a bit different, 
is that this is, flute has a name. Uh, back in my 20s, I had a flute made by Dana Sheridan, also um, who uh, hailed from the Haynes Company. Um, initially, number 10, which is a silver flute with gold rings. And for some reason, I called it Excalibur. I don't know why, it's some sort of mythical sword thing. It just had a certain Excalibur sort of ring to it. So I thought, I wonder, is there an Irish equivalent? And there is. And so after a bit of Googling, I discovered the Cleave Solish, um, which is Gaelic for the Sword of Light. And so that is exactly what is engraved right here on the back of the barrel. We've got Cleave Solish in a beautiful sort of Celtic font. Uh, moving up, we have this beautiful lip plate engraving, which was the sort of inspiration for a lot of this delicate, personalised work um, on the instrument. And the crowning, the crowning glory, um, is again more of the Celtic knotwork, but we also have an emerald in the top. Um, so this really is, it's you know, it's it's one of it's one of a kind. It not only is a celebration of Ireland, but it's a celebration of the amazing work um, of the friends and colleagues that I have in Boston. And so not only does it look stunning, but as you can imagine, it really plays like something else as well.